1,500 times more massive, making its horizon 1,500 times larger. It took several years to refine our image and co confirm what we had, but we prevailed. We now know that in both cases, what we see is the heart of the black hole, the point of no return. That's the centers of galaxies. Okay, so the center of the galaxy is a pretty interesting place. You know, the, the Milky Way, it's a spiral galaxy. And it's, uh, like <laughs> yeah. I mean. How this picture makes you feel. Um, one particularly exciting thing about this result, um, unlike. These, these are very strong magnetic fields to the gas around the black hole, but they're weaker than the, the magnets on your refrigerator. Uh, maybe. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll say one thing I didn't mention that we concluded was. Um, but as you see in the simulations, uh, there's a lot of exciting physics to be gotten at by making a movie. When do we expect it? And uh, the second question might be, a, it might sound a bit silly, but spin a bit the viewing angle, which threw me, um, and matches gravity. The, but can you go in? ...of black holes is this horrible, violent, scary, you know, dangerous place, you know, where nothing escapes from. We expect to see more detailed images. First, we see that only a trickle of material is actually making it all the way to the black hole. If Sag J star were a person, it would consume a single grain of rice every million years. And while some black holes can be remarkably efficient at converting gravitational energy into light, Sag J star traps nearly all of this energy. Only one part in a thousand is converted into light. Orientation is also important, with each angle picking up different parts of the hole. Telescopes that are closer to together become sensitive to the broad features of the image that the wider pairs can't see. And combined, these components of the image can provide a good representation for the target we're observing. Such different stories. I think the first one was just so exciting because it was the first one. And, um, in order, and be, just being able to see a black hole for the first time was like spectacular. But I think the holy grail of the Event Horizon Telescope has always been to image Sagittarius A star, Sag A star. And the reason why is because we have a lot more information other from other observations and stuff on what we expected Sag A star to look like. And so be and that means that all the, the, the gas in the galaxy actually scatters the image. It makes it look like we're looking at the black hole through like a frosted window, like in a shower or something like a frosted uh, shower pane or whatever. And that makes it, that's one challenge. Um, but I would say the biggest challenge that we face is the fact that the black hole is is evolving really quickly. This is really only the beginning. And now that we have, we know that we have these extreme laboratories of gravity that we can go back and we can improve our instruments and improve our algorithms in order to see more and to extract more science. Um, and so, you know, we, we made our first attempts at making a movie and we made a lot of, of progress, but we're not there yet where we feel we're confident enough that we feel this is what Sagittarius Star looks like from minute to minute.